So we just snuck back up to the group of bison and we have a giant bison right here. He's about 45 yards out, perfectly broadside. We're gonna take a shot. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is 133 and today we're gonna to be taking out the new 20 gauge loaded with slugs for some bison. So we just came across a nice herd of bison. They're right out here. There's a pretty good sized male. He's a three very easy there. But right over here, we have a monster. He's a four easy, 152 to 226 score on him. We're gonna see if we can't get him with the 20 gauge slugs. So we just snuck up to about 90 yards away from this big bison. We have him broadside perfect right there at about 85 yards. And we should be able to make a perfect shot from right here. All right, so we'll stay zeroed in for 82. And we're gonna hold it right. Well, we put a good hit on him, but I don't know. Oh, we got good percentage going down now. We're gonna pop up really quick and see if we can possibly hit another one here. Well, I believe our big one should be down right now. As you can see right here, it was definitely a vital hit on that big bison. Now, he didn't go down that fast, so we must have just missed the spine. But we should be able to find him. Looks like he ran this direction here. 25%. Alright, well, there he is down right there. He's probably not going to be a goal because we didn't quite make a perfect shot. But we definitely took him down with a 20 gauge slug. So let's go take a look and see how the 20 gauge slugs actually did on this big bison. Yeah, he's definitely one of the biggest ones I've seen in quite some time now, so let's pick him up. He scores 207, and look at that shot. Looks like we only did hit him one single time, and we hit maybe a half inch too low. Still an awesome shot. Big bison, and we made a 86 yard right lung shot on him. He scores 207, total score of 676. Now that's what I like to see. As you can see, this is the second bison we took the shot on, and it was definitely a vital hit. Really good shot on this one. I thought we might have hit shoulder blade, but it was walking. So I guess we probably centered it pretty good, and this bison shouldn't go too far. Oh, another bison coming at us. Now, we do have another 20 gauge on us as well. Now, we know this one will for surely go down, so I think we're going to mark this location here. And we'll be able to come back and track down that one. But for now, we're going to go run off this way and see if we can't find this bison that we just hit like probably three or four times. Or maybe not. Oh, perfect. Texas hard shot dropped it. Oh, we're empty. I don't know if that was the same one that we had hit from before. Or I don't think so, actually. So let's pick this one up. This might actually be a completely different bison. Let's check. Nope, this was the original bison that we did hit. Uh, the one that just ran past us and then came back again. Looks like we hit it four times. All flesh hits, pelvis, pelvis. Yeah, we didn't lead it enough, but that possibly could have been a running intestine shot. I believe we hit this bison five times with the 20 gauge slugs and we still have 100% integrity. So that is awesome. So we could easily get a gold or diamond depending on how many times we hit it. All right, so that's the one that we were tracking before. Let's pick this one up. This one we made probably a 90 yard walking, what should be a lung shot, and it might actually be a nice male. No, it's a nice sized female. She scores 108, and we did hit this one twice. Wow, that was a wicked shot right there. It looks like a 90 yard, almost a perfect double lung heart shot, but we did get a single right lung shot on that. And here's the other one, ran off this direction here. Oh, 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 oh. more bison right here. Let's get ready on these guys. Let's make sure we're reloaded. We're, lo we're reloaded and we're zeroed in for 27 right now. We should probably stay zeroed in for 50 though. That's about how far away these are. Just wanna see if there might happen to be a decent male here. It's a female, but we're gonna go for a shot. Oh, definitely got two good ones into her. And she's coming at us. And we went for a brain shot, but I don't think we got it. She should go down pretty quick though. This is one that we hit from before. We're gonna track down this one. This 20 gauge really does a nice job on these bison. It looks like that was a non-vital hit. 
and it was running this way. It takes them a little while, but they do go down. And I believe this might be our bison here. From the looks of it. Let's pick it up. Yep, this is her. She scores 54. Total score of 521. We made a 17-yard running stomach intestine shot. I sort of don't remember this one. Oh, this might have been the second time around. Okay. All right, here she is down here. Let's pick her up. Looks like this is the one that was standing out there at about 66 yards. Made an awesome lung shot. Didn't quite get any penetration to get double lung on that, but still, I'll take a left lung shot at about 66 yards. I'm pretty happy with that. Then we made a flesh. And as she was coming at us, we tried to go for brain, but it looks like we just hit a little bit low. So we just caught up to the bison. They're right here, right to the left side of us. I didn't quite get a look at any of them yet, but one just stood up right here. We have a really good wind. Oh, they're right there. I believe that might be... Oh, that's the big one. Got him! Perfect shot! We reserved him for 50, and I think we made an awesome spine shot on him. Let's see if we can't try and catch up to the herd. Yep, here comes one. Female. Wow! And I believe we got a double lung hit on that one as well. I didn't realize how good this 20 gauge works on these bison. We just absolutely piled two of these up. Let's pick them up. Uh oh. He scores 184 gold, total score of 804, and we did make a spine shot at 31 yards out. You can see it took him down, no problem at all. So if I would have known that, well, we kind of tried to aim for the spine on the first big one, but we only hit maybe a half inch too low. It's one of those things where either you take the chance or you don't, and we did, and we definitely got a nice goal out of this one. He scores 184, total score of 804, and we got 1,038 cash for that. And we should probably reload this sucker up. Because we have a couple more bison down over here. This one we made another spine shot on. And it looks like we got a non-vital hit possibly on the other one. Let's pick this one up. He sc or actually, she scores 77. Total score of 623. And we made a spine shot at 46 yards out on her. And that is indeed a non-vital hit. So we should have ourselves yet another bison down. Not too far away. I believe we actually missed that first shot somehow. I don't know if we hit the grass or what happened. Let's pick up this bison. We did make a stomach. Looks like a walking intestine shot at 55 yards out. So I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely a solid hit on her. She scores 98 total score of 492. That's our bison. And time to switch. Oh, that's a good hit. That is one tough bison. Is she gonna go down? Now she is. All right, well, we tracked down our bison and here she is. I wanna see where we hit that first shot. Yeah, that's what I thought. We were clearly zeroed in for 50 and she was 43 and we hit high. So we just spotted another male bison. He's right over here. We're trying to sneak up on him right now. I believe there might actually be two or three of them. So we're trying to get over to this opening here and seeing if they step out. We've been tracking them for about 20, 25 minutes now. So it's definitely been quite some time we put into this. And I think I see him right there. I don't know if that's him or not. We'll have to wait and find out. Uh, it doesn't look like it's him, but this should be him. No, is this him? Come on, is that him? Found him. Got him. Well, at least I think that was the big one. We had a couple seconds to take the shot and we managed to squeeze one off. Yeah, it was about a 40, 45 yard shot. We're zeroed in for 54, so let's see what happened. He scores 176, total score of 791. 
We made a 38-yard spine shot, so perfect shot on him. And he's not quite big enough to be a goal, but still an awesome bison. So we just snuck back up to the group of bison, and we have a giant bison right here. He's about 45 yards out, perfectly broadside. We should be able to make a nice shot. We're going to try and sneak up a little bit over here. Now we have a clear path, and hopefully nothing obstructs the shot. We should be pretty good right about here. We're going to take a shot. Got him! Perfect shot. Giant bison down. Let's go over and go take a look and see how big this thing's going to score. I've been trying to get a big gold for this whole time now, and we got a couple of decent ones, but this is definitely our opportunity to break 200. Let's pick him up. He scores 215 gold. Total score of... Well, then, it looks like we lost our consecutive harvest somehow. I don't remember ever not picking anything up, but anyways... We ended up making an awesome shot, spine shot at 44 yards out, and he was a silver. Still an awesome bison, but I'm a little bit disappointed we lost our consecutive harvest because I don't remember taking any shots at any bison and not picking them up. Yeah, they really need to do something about this consecutive harvest. I mean, it's a bit much. It really is. And if you want to keep it at 100%, don't make it drop so easy. Say you accidentally hit something and you don't know you hit it, that shouldn't make it go down to 0%. It should be something that you hit and you deliberately made a bad shot and you didn't track it down or something. But the fact that you don't even know that you lose your consecutive harvest, there should be a meter or something like that where you could slowly see what is that at all times if they're really going to be that conservative about what your consecutive harvest is going to be like. Anyways, I think that's going to be an awesome way to end this video. And I do recommend the 20 gauge slugs for these bison. It works absolutely fantastic as you can see. We would have had an awesome 215 scoring big gold bison here. And either way, it's still an awesome way to end this video. But it would have been even cooler if it would have been a big gold. Anyways, I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. So we just got eyes on another bison. He's out there at about 130 yards out. About to go over this hill. And I want to see if we can make a shot happen on him. And it looks like we actually did manage to make a shot at 130 yards out. I don't know where we hit him. And he doesn't look too happy. But we have one more shot left. Okay, so it looks like we hit this bison twice. 131, 133. That first shot looks like it hit shoulder blade. I mean, that was a risky shot, but we took a chance. The second shot, as he was turning to run, looks like we got stomach and left lung. It's a really good penetration there at 133 yards out. And a pretty nice bison. He scores 160, total score of 575. And it looks like we got a flesh and spine shot on him. Let's go with that and let's pick him up. Oh my god! A 210 scoring diamond whitetail buck. I can't believe he was that big. 